When one thinks of the leading contributors to a low crime and law-abiding community, handcrafted clay sculptures and paintings aren't top of mind. However, there is a direct connection between law enforcement and art. Edina 16's Nathalie Gage tells us more. I was never really attracted to making um, big works of art, but I really, really enjoy making small statements about the world that I observe around us. Mary Jo Smith is a fine craft artist. I really, really enjoy making pots that people are gonna use in their daily life. And when your focus is dinner and serving ware, you're concerned with function as much as form. I mean, everything that we design, uh, not only does it have to function well, but also has to be durable. And likewise, Edina's Fall into the Arts Festival was created with a specific function in mind. The Fall in the Arts Festival was um, originated by the Edina Crime Fund. And they were looking for um, something to be a fundraiser. Basically, we, we provide funding for the, uh, the items that really aren't possible through a, a normal uh, budget. The, uh, the Canine Patrol, Bicycle Patrol, Beyond the Badge, uh, we have youth programming. And now, through the festival, the livelihoods of 240 artists and the members of the Edina Police Force are linked. All proceeds from the festival after expenses have been donated to the crime fund. So um, we try every year to up that a little bit and um, we've successfully done that. Well now it's an important part of the funding that we uh, receive for the, uh, for the crime fund. Although the festival has been a boon to the fund, the police aren't the only ones who appreciate the turnout. We love Fall into the Arts Festival. The volunteers there, the fabulous community support. You know, we are so appreciative of them showing up, asking questions, being really, you know, authentically interested in what we do. I'm Nathalie Gage, Edina 16. The Fall into the Arts Festival is an annual event that is now in its 10th year. It will be held at Centennial Lakes Park from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, September 8th, and 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday, September 9th. On behalf of my co-host, Officer Aaron White, and the rest of the officers of the Edina Police Department, thanks for tuning in to learn a little bit more of what goes on beyond the badge. Until next time, stay safe. Beyond the Badge is brought to you by the Dyna Crime Prevention Fund.